Alright, so the topic today is why has my fish lost its collar? It's a common thing you see in the aquarium hobby. People buy a fish and then the collars fade out and that nice bright red Serpe Tetra or Neon Tetra is all washed out and it doesn't have pretty collars anymore and people want to know why. So I put this together, this real quick video to show you some reasons why your fish has lost its collar and tell you how to fix it. So, here we go. Five reasons why your fish could lose its collar. Stress, disease, you were fooled at the fish store, bad fish, or a bad diet. And in the picture here you see a Serpe Tetra and it's kind of bland looking, it's washed out, it's not a really attractive fish. But at the end you'll see what one that's good genetics and properly cared for should look like. Alright, so reason number one, stress. This is the main reason your fish will lose its collar. If it is stressed out, the collars will fade out and the fish will not look good. It'll hide all the time. It will not be a, a nice fish to look at. Causes of stress, some of the big ones, bad water quality. If you're not doing your water changes, if you're not cleaning your substrate, if you're not cleaning out your filter, you're going to have bad water quality and bad water quality will stress your fish out. Ammonia will get high, nitrate will get high, nitrite will get high, and the fish will stress and its collars will fade. Also, bad water quality affects a ton of other things including nutrient and mineral balances in the fish that help with collars also. Bad environment. You got to know your fish, guys. If you've got an Oscar in a 30 gallon tank and he's all washed out and isn't looking very good, he's not in a proper environment. That fish needs at least a 75 gallon tank to be happy. You got to know your fish. Bad environment that also goes to you don't have the proper decor in your aquarium to keep that fish happy. Some fish need hiding places in order to show their collars and look good. If they don't have hiding places, they stress out. Some fish like a lot of plants. Some like leaf litter. Some like high light. Some like low light. Just make sure the environment suits what your fish needs. Do your research. Make sure you know exactly what that fish needs and give it that environment to get the best collar. Another reason, you got bad tank mates. If you've got one fish that's bullying all the other fish around and that's going to stress those fish being bullied out and they're going to lose their collar and they're not going to look good they're not going to come out so make sure that the fish you have are compatible that they get along with each other if they don't you need to look at changing your stocking to where that you have compatible fish in your aquarium you don't want to take a fish like a red tail shark and put it in with cherry barbs. It'll harass them constantly. I had that happen to me personally. Just make sure your fish are getting along. Also, no friends. A lot of people want to go to the store and they want to buy two of this Tetra and two of that Tetra and one of that one. And a lot of these Tetras guys are schooling fish. They need five, six, eight, ten tank mates of the same species. So make sure if you've got a fish that needs a school, give it a school or it's going to stress out and it's not going to have the collar that you want to see. And also if you've just recently bought them or you've moved or you've changed the environment and stressed them out, that'll cause their collars to wash out too. How do you fix it? You do your water changes. Don't slack on the work. Vacuum that substrate. Clean the filter. Change the water. Make sure you do it regular. Make sure you do, you do your research. Some fish like lower light. You may need a larger tank. You may need more plants. You may need leaf litter. Research your fish. Figure out what it needs. Look for signs of bullying. If the fins are getting tore up, if the fish is constantly hiding, if you see this fish chasing that one around all the time, you got a problem. Your fish are not compatible. You're going to have to change something up. And make sure if your fish needs a school that they have one disease check your fish don't just go buy the first fish you see in the store look at it make sure you know the common diseases to look for is it is the fish wild caught if it is did you treat it for parasites did you deworm the fish put it in quarantine 
Is it covered in white spots? Do the fins appear to be falling apart? Covered in white blotches? Not swimming correctly or not at all? Laying on the bottom? Anything in this slide? This clown loach upper left? That's ick. The goldfish in the center top? That's tail and fin rot? That platy's got a bacterial infection? And then these Oscars, they're just laying on their side, not swimming. Any of those things, you want to stay away from those fish. If you see this in your aquarium, you need to treat it. The fix, you quarantine your fish. Get the sick fish out, put it in quarantine by itself. Do frequent water changes. You may want to add some aquarium salt. If it's ick, raise your temperature. That'll help ick along with the frequent water changes. Medicate as necessary. If it's necessary to medicate your fish, do it. Ick, a lot of times people want to put the blue medicines in their tank and think that's going to fix it. That's not the fix for ick. Raise your temperature, do your water changes. Ick is a parasite. You'll get it out of there a lot quicker doing water changes and raising the temperature. Were you tricked at the store? Did you end up buying a dyed fish? Unfortunately, this is a thing that happens in the aquarium hobby. These fish are taken, their natural colors are not all that flashy, so they have their slime coat stripped off, they're dipped in dye, and it gives them these bright, vivid colors. It's dye, it's just like anything else. It'll wear off after a period of time. These fish are often sold as fruit tetras, fruit salad tetras, painted glass, the list goes on and on what they're called. They look like this. The top left, that's what's sold as a fruit tetra. The top right, that's what that fish looks like in nature. So if you buy these dyed fish or you've already bought them, just know that in a matter of a few years, that color is going to fade away and you'll be left with this white fish just like it was in nature. The bottom left, those are painted glass is what they call them. They, again, they're stripped of their slime coat and dyed that fish is not naturally colored the fish on the right is what that fish looks like natural coloration and those guys they're both beautiful in their own right i don't know why the aquarium trade feels the need to dye them but they do i think it's inhumane personally because that slime coat that's a fish's immune system it's what keeps that fish healthy so these dyed fish are very susceptible to diseases and other problems that they wouldn't be if their slime coat were left intact the fix for those guys, there is none. The collar was all fake and it will not return. Enjoy the fish for its natural beauty instead of the modification given to it by the aquarium trade. Just enjoy the fish for what it is. There's no way to bring the collar back on those fish. The dye wears off and it's just gone. Bad fish. It happens. Fish are overbred in huge farms. The genetics sometimes suffer. You can get the max collar attainable by your particular fish if you provide a perfect environment. Perfect water, good diet, good tank size, good tank mates, substrate plants. If your aquarium's set up right, you'll get all the collar out of that fish it has to offer. If the collar's still lacking, if it's not where you want it to be, if the fish still doesn't look as good as you'd hoped it would, you may want to take that fish to a local pet store give it to them and get yourself a better quality fish that has the color you're looking for a bad diet feed your fish a variety they need a balance of minerals and nutrients most foods if not all foods do not provide everything a fish needs a lot of minerals and nutrients are provided with a good water change done regularly where you freshen up that water Others are provided by food. No food is perfect. Vary your fish's diet to make sure they attain perfect color by getting all the minerals, nutrients, and pigments from their food. I feed a combination of pellets, frozen foods, sometimes flake foods. Just change it up. Don't feed the same thing day after day after day. When you provide what the fish needs, they give you the collar you want. You can go from this Serpe Tetra on the left to what it should look like on the right when given the proper care and environment. You just got to do the work. Do your research. Make sure you get a good quality fish. Make sure you're keeping your tank up. Do your water changes. Make sure your fish aren't getting stressed out or bullied around in your tank. And you're going to have the collar from the fish that you want as long as your fish are able to give it to you 
And if you get them from a good reputable breeder, they should have no problem giving you all the collar you could hope for. Hope this helps some of you that are wondering why your fish's collars have faded. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. See you next time.